I got to ask you a question from Reddit. From Reddit? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you know, there, there's just this fascinating, to me at least, it's a psychological, social phenomenon where people report that Claude has gotten dumber for them over time. And so uh, the question is, does the user complaint about the dumbing down of Claude 3, 5, Sonnet hold any water? So are these anecdotal reports a kind of social phenomena or did Claude, is there any cases where Claude would get dumber? So uh, this actually doesn't apply. This, this isn't just about Claude. I, I believe this, I believe I've seen these complaints for every foundation model produced by a major company. Um, people said this about GPT-4. They said it about GPT-4 Turbo. Um, so, so, so a couple things, um, one, the actual weights of the model, right? The actual brain of the model that does not change unless we introduce a new model. Mm -hmm. Um, there, there are just a number of reasons why it would not make sense practically to be randomly substituting in, substituting in new versions of the model. It's difficult from an inference perspective, and it's actually hard to control all the consequences of changing the weights of the model. Let's say you wanted to fine tune the model to be like, I don't know, to like, to say certainly less, which, you know, an old version of Sonnet used to do, um, you actually end up changing a hundred things as well. So we have a whole process for it and we have a whole process for modifying the model. We do a bunch of testing on it. We do a bunch of, um, like we do a bunch of user testing and early customers. So it, it, we both have never changed the weights of the model without, without telling anyone. And it, it, it wouldn't certainly in the current setup, it would not make sense to do that. Now, there are a couple things that we do occasionally do. Um, one is sometimes we run AB tests, um, but those are typically very close to when a model is being, is being, uh, released and for a very small fraction of time. Um, so, uh, you know, like the, you know, the, the day before the new Sonnet 3.5, I, I agree. We should, have, we should have had a better name. It's clunky to refer to it. Um, there were some comments from people that like, it's got, it's got, it's gotten a lot better. And that's because, you know, a fraction were exposed to, to an AB test for, for those one or for those one or two days. Um, the other is that occasionally the system prompt will change. Um, uh, and the system prompt can have some effects, although it's un it, it, it's unlikely to dumb down models. It's unlikely to make them dumber. Um, and, 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 and we've seen that while these two things, which I'm listing to be very complete, um, happen relatively, happen quite infrequently, um, the complaints about, uh, to, for us and for other model companies about the model change, the model isn't good at this, the model got more censored, the model was dumbed down. Those complaints are constant. And so I don't want to say like people are imagining it or anything, but like the models are for the most part not changing. Um, if I were to offer a theory, um, I, I think it actually relates to one of the things I said before, which is that models have many, are very complex and have many aspects to them. And so often, you know, if I, if I, if I, if I ask the model a question, you know, if I'm like, if I'm like do task X versus can you do task X? the model might respond in different ways. Uh, and, and so there are all kinds of subtle things that you can change about the way you interact with the model that can give you very different results. Um, to be clear, this, this itself is like a failing by, by us and by the other model providers that, that the models are, are just, just often sensitive to like small, small changes in wording. It's yet another way in which the science of how these models work is very poorly developed. Uh, and, and so, you know, if I go to sleep one night and I was like talking to the model in a certain way and I like slightly change the phrasing of how I talk to the model, you know, I could, I could get different results. So that's, that's one possible way. The other thing is, man, it's just hard to quantify this stuff. Uh, it's hard to quantify this stuff. I think people are very excited by new models when they come out. And then as time goes on, they, they become very aware of the, they become very aware of the limitations. So that may be another effect, but that's, that's all a very long winded way of saying for the most part, with some fairly narrow exceptions, the models are not changing. I think there is a psychological effect. You just start getting used to it. The baseline raises, like when people have first gotten Wi-Fi on airplanes, it's like amazing, it's like amazing. magic. Yeah. And then, and now and then I'm you like, start I can't get this thing to work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is such a piece of crap. <laughs> exactly. So then it's easy to have the conspiracy theory of they're making Wi-Fi slower and slower. 